and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with his trainer, John David Jackson, wearing black and officially weighing in at 175 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one. 30 victories, including 26 wins by knockout, only one defeat with one draw. From Chelyabinsk, Russia, the former light heavyweight champion of the world, Sergei Prussia. the ring fighting out of the black corner with his trainer Virgil Hunter. He's wearing red and his official weight 175 pounds. This Olympic gold medalist now as a professional has a perfect record. 31 fights, 31 victories including 15 wins by knockout from the city of champions Oakland, California, USA. The former super middleweight world champion and now reigning Defending, undefeated, light heavyweight, champion of the world, Andre S.O.G. Okay, gentlemen, you both receive your address, instructions in your dressing room. Okay, right here is good, anything that's low. Right here is good, anything that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. They don't touch. All right. Stand by, buckle up for yet another classic confrontation in our thriving modern boxing world where more and more the best fight the best two supreme light heavyweights in the most anticipated rematch of the year after that bitter controversy seven months ago up the strip at the t-mobile arena now at the golden tower of mandalay bay in a golden age in boxing tactics ring skills power mental strength we have it all in the blender, Paulie. We sure do. And so much tension in the air as the bell rings for the first round. Right hand from Kovalev. Remember, it was the Russian that got off to that terrific start, winning the first and flooring Andre Ward for only the second time in his life in the second round. But back came Ward in the back half and changed his tactics. Virgil Hunter in the corner, as ever. You see how Ward is so defensive in the first round right now. And I think he's doing this because the entire promotion, they've tried to get under Kovalev's skin. So they want to see if Kovalev tries to come out too fast and if maybe they can walk him into some kind of trap. Right now, Ward is very relaxed on the back foot. They're trying to see if Kovalev comes out with too much excitement and maybe you can set a trap for him and land a big shot. That's it, too desperate for the knockout, too angry, and maybe leaving holes yeah, for the counter punches of Ward. Yeah, exactly. Ward has come out really relaxed off that back foot. That was a nice jab by, by Ward. But Kovalev has enormous power. 26 knockouts and his 30 wins. And he also has an enormous amount of discipline. You know, he, he, although you try to get under his skin, at the end of the day, he's a guy with a ton of experience, both amateur and professional. It's going to be hard to undo him mentally, especially so early in the fight. Yep, eight defenses of that world light heavyweight title until the defeat, including that really good win over the, albeit aging, Bernard Hopkins, but he shone in that, and he wants to shine again here tonight, Kovalev. Disgusted with the result last time. I believe it was the judges that gifted it to Ward. But it was close, whatever you it, say. It was close. And Kovalev making an effort whenever they're inside to at least try to move his hands and try to uh, at least show that he does. Good shot from Ward, who's going to be cheered by the American fans here. Here's a short little hook. Ward trying to get to that body, use the jab to the body. What that'll do is try to get, distract maybe Kovalev. Oh, nice jab by Kovalev there. And they get close. 
and personal very early on. Ward said, don't be surprised if the knockout comes in my favour, but he's not a massive puncher, and up at light heavyweight, it would be a surprise that. Yeah, of course, and I, I think what, what Ward really needs to do is just try to get Kovalev's attention, Kovalev's respect. He doesn't have to necessarily drop him, he didn't do that in the first fight. At least get his respect. Who's settling better for you? Uh, right now, it's hard to tell. You know, right now, it's hard to tell. The Ward seems relaxing that, up that back foot. Kovalev on that front foot seems determined to bring it forward. It's a nice jab by Kovalev again. Hard round to score. Could be many of those again. Good finish to the session from Kovalev. Did Ward have the better first part? Good job. 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 The corner of Andre Keep Ward. Virgil Hunter's been with him since he was a kid. Jacob stitched Duran in there as well. Expert cutsman who was in Vladimir Klitschko's corner a few weeks ago at Wembley said that was one of the nights of his life, even though his man lost. He couldn't believe the 90,000 at Wembley. Here we are in Mandalay Bay, the mecca of boxing in Vegas. The red trunks of the champion, Andre Ward, and the black of the now challenger, crusher, Sergei Kovalev. You couldn't, or maybe didn't want to split them in that first. It's really hard. I mean, you had a, a couple of solid jabs and a, little, a nice jab there by Ward. I'll tell you, a lot, even in a lot of the first fight, I mean, literally a jab or two separated them in a lot of the rounds. And up close, you could see Ward's inside oh. work as well in the latter rounds as he goes for a right hand. But there's the physical strength of Kovalev, which will act in his favor. The more natural light heavyweight, the bigger man. Well, Kovalev has to use that physical strength. We saw in the first fight, he, he didn't use a lot of it. Later, late in the fight, it was, it was Ward who was bullying him on the inside. I think that's one of the adjustments Kovalev needs to make. He's having trouble landing on Ward from the outside, but he's at least keeping him on the back foot. He's busy, Kovalev. As you'd expect. A lot of feints from Ward, and that's 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 so he can keep Kovalev's attack off balance, Kovalev's pressure off balance. Kovalev can't really commit to anything he wants to with a lot of those feints. There's a Ward jab. 33 now, Andre Ward. He's had spells of inactivity, shoulder problems. Will the legs begin to slow at some point? So much fire in the belly of Kovalev. So desperate here. Look how hard it is to find that opening on Ward, though. You know, Kovalev doing a good job, not overcommitting, not putting himself off balance to beat with a counter. But still, look, just having a hard time finding the trajectory on Ward. So again, I mean, how do you want to score the round? Do you want to give Kovalev the, the points for the pressure? Or do you want to give Ward the, the credit for the bring generalship? It's that kind of fight. There's a good right hand. And again, it's that kind of shot. It's a good jab. That kind of shot that could decide the round in this kind of fight. Lovely right hand from Kovalev. Another jab. Like the punch that floored him in this very same session seven months ago. And Ward oh, just a little stop, unsteady stop, stop, stop. there. And that's the thing, Adam. You know, uh, down, down. low blow there. And that's the thing, Adam. And Kovalev. Yeah, low blow. He's going to get some down. time. Just let me know where you're at. Stay. He's always gone on about the dirty tactics of Andre Ward. You know, at the end accident? of the day, in there, it's a fight. A lot of a lot of times, if, unless the referee go, time, dictates the pace and, and enforces the rules, sometimes guys try to get away with what they can get away with. It's a fight for t between two guys for millions of dollars. So much at stake, you know, but including the championship of the world. And as I was saying before with the cold leg jab. You know, he's an underrated boxer. You know, people go into this fight a lot of, between these two uh, nice body shots by Ward there. People match these two guys up and they just assume Ward is a better boxer. And he probably is a slightly more athletic boxer than Kovalev has a good right hand there. Great shots from Kovalev and Ward meets fire with fire. Is that sensible though? And they're a little bit of a mouse underneath the left eye of Andre Ward. Slight. Not a good jab by Kovalev. Yeah, good round this for the Russian. Just bullying Ward a bit and hurting him too. See some of the action there from that last round. It was a right hand by Kovalev that was landed, followed up with a jab. You see some unconventional shot there. It's usually a right hand will be followed by a left hook. But again, Ward is so difficult to time, so difficult to, so slippery that sometimes a simple shot, a straight right hand and a jab instead of a left hook, and that's what got him. Back in November, that was a 10-8 round. Ward had to haul himself up off the canvas. Wasn't down, but definitely Sergei Kovalev's session. You see how Kovalev again trying to as hard as he can to at least keep his hands moving on the inside. 
tried a big right hand there, he just missed it. WBA Super, IBF and WBO light heavyweight titles on the line. Both 12 stone 7 on the scales. They worked so hard for this again. So much at stake, Paulie. Everything's at stake. Wood trying that counter right hand. Trying to try to get the timing. He's got to be careful, though, because last time, in the last fight, it's what he got caught with the right hand. He was looking at the time. Kovalev's jab over the top of his jab with the right hand, and Kovalev came with a one-two and caught him on the return and fired him. Again, closing the range. Kovalev, Ward on the back foot. There's one thing Kovalev could do, and he's also another one who tonight could probably cut the ring off a little better. So far, Ward has circled the ring well. And not that it's easy to do in our Ward, because Ward will take a step here, a step there. He'll give you a feint. So it's not easy to cut the ring off. But here, when he's just kind of gliding along, you've got to cut him off. Fascinating to watch the moves. The feet, the chess match at times. I'll tell you what, Kovalev's used his jab pretty effectively tonight. You know, he's been pretty busy with it. Even if it's not always landed, it's he's using it to keep Ward out of position. It's, it's not allow, it's a lot, it's not allowing Ward to set up anything uh, d distinctive offense, offense wise. Andre Ward, obviously a brilliant amateur with that Olympic goal, but Kovalev was. Yeah, very well schooled as well. Sometimes, you know, people just talk about his power, but he does much more than that. Yeah, he's more, of a, he's more than a big puncher. And again, like I said, he's using that jab tonight. Even if it's not always landing, he's using it to put Ward out of position. And if Ward gets put out of position, he can be hit with a follow-up shot, for one. And there's a right hand by Kovalev. And he can also be stopped from setting up any, any, any sufficient amount of offense. Around the back of the head, that from... Andre Wall gets a, a ticking off from Tony Weeks, such an experienced referee, to be taking charge of such a high-profile battle. Stalking again, Kovalev. You see what that jab did. He didn't land the jab, but it, it backed Ward all the way to the ropes, where now Kovalev can kind of try to do something. No, nothing was done really out of the ordinary there, but just the jab alone won the position battle for Kovalev. He's setting the pace, isn't he? He's making Ward work hard. Yeah. And see, look at the jab. Look what the jab does. Maybe it doesn't land, but look what it does. You see how it puts Ward out of position? Clever from Kovalev. Left hand back from Ward. Taking away any consistency from Andre Ward with that jab. Nice jab by Ward. So back comes Kovalev with punches as they open up again. Mm -hmm. There's some, some action on that last round. You see that jab landing by Kovalev after a right hand over the top. The Crusher fan club, his wife and son Alexander there. Oh, good lead, good lead hook to start the round by Ward. Yep, came out firing there, beginning of the fourth. Kovalev surely with a better part of the first quarter of this light heavyweight. Kovalev again, with that, Kovalev again with that jab, been consistent with it. Either he's landing it or he's made it he's put Ward out of position. There it is again. And I'll tell you what Ward has to start doing. He's got to start doing something to deal with that jab. He's got to either start jabbing with the jab or, or he's got to come over the top of it with some counters or, or underneath it with some uppercut counters or whatnot, you know? But he's got to do something to figure out the, the jab of Kovalev. Draw it out of him with a feint, something where you can make him maybe counter him after. And that jab of Kovalev is giving, is giving him a lot of problems. Right hand from Kovalev was fast as well. Ward comes back with a couple of body shots. It's more intense at times yeah. than the last one. But I tell you, both these guys are so good. I and mean, here's how you can tell. None, whatever lands, never lands with 100% authority. It's always grazing. Sometimes it lands at 75%, 80%. Sometimes it lands at 20%. Even anything that's landing, nobody's able to land with the full 100% thudding of the shot because both these guys are, are such good at positioning their bodies and also good defensively. But Kovalev's winning this so far. Yeah, I think he's controlling the fight with the jab. Honestly, the Kovalev jab has been a difference for me. Back comes Wall with a shot. Set, set. It's going to be tit for tat at times. Just stabbing at his uh, left eye there, Kovalev. He oh, has been cut right before. Nice Ward. shot. That's the second big shot for Ward this round. He led the, he led the, the, the round with the, with the hook. Nice jab there. And another one. Good last 20 seconds for Andre Ward. Probably the cleanest shots of the fight. Sergio, come here. Come here. All right, both of you 
Joe, you've been rolling the ring and just let's keep it clean. Here we go, both of y'all, both of y'all. Yeah, here we go. Time me, let's go. Tony Weeks cleaning it up. That's what everyone oh, wants to right see. Hand. Another right hand by Ward there. Really a nice boxing round for Ward this round. Yep, he needed to find some answers. And now he goes to the left hand. Just caught Kovalev there from Andre Ward. And that looked a power punch. Oh, yeah. But he was landing some pretty good shots this round. Probably the cleanest out of both guys that have landed have been Ward shots this round. Both have, uh, both have always had excellent chins. These are the elite in the 12-7 division. Back comes Kovalev. You see Ward trying to get confident. You see him get creative there. He tried to come with a left uppercut and then a left hand, left hook, uh, doubling up that same hand. Marked under the eye, Kovalev, but springing back. Really good round this, the fourth. Kovalev staying consistent with the jab. Maybe he's not getting the better of the round so far. And staying consistent with what's given him success. But it's fine. There's another good jab by Kovalev. Excellent to watch as Ward. they engage. More of a high octane battle second time around. And some action from that last round. The best round for Andre Ward so far. Landed some good shots. That was a solid left hand jab, but he also landed some. Pretty good power shots in that last round. A right hand, a lead left hook to start the round. Uh, Ward's best round thus far, and he really needed it to, to kind of get into the mind of Kovalev and let him know he's there. Here's the fifth. Stop, stop. What happens next in this rematch? We love rematches in boxing, especially at this level. Kovalev going for a left hook. Ward back with one of his own. They might be made for each other, these two. <laughs> yeah, made for each other, and you can't tell them apart is the problem. Oh, good hook by Ward there. Ward with a nice jab. Ward's starting to get warmed up. Get, get, out that, get out that athletic rhythm warmed up now. Just some Slipping. marking under the eyes of Sergei Kovalev, who's breathing quite heavy in the red corner. He brought a new conditioner on board this time around. Sort of stop start training, believe he overtrained for the first fight. I'll tell you what it to is. that. I'll tell you what it is too. You, you gotta you gotta not be so anxious. And Ward has ways of making you anxious and making you miss sometimes sharp counters. And when you get anxious, you fatigue yourself. Right hand from Ward in and out, utilizing those legs. But good jab again from Kovalev. Sometimes that's jab to the stomach. It is just there to kind of keep you in position, the position he wants you to be in. Ward a little bit more athletic now. He's warmed up definitively. Definitely. A slow start again from Andre Ward. Finding that rhythm, but Kovalev's not going for broke. He's trying to contain himself at times and open up at others. Intelligent tactics from both camps. Yeah, and look, and look at the distance they're fighting at. Look at the distance they're fighting at. So you have to be really good to fight at this distance. There's a nice jab by Kovalev, a nice body shot by Ward, nice right hand by Kovalev. Tip for tat here in this round. Oh, oh. left hook from Andre Ward. Kovalev was open, but he took it well. He took it well, but those are the kind of shots that win you rounds, especially in these tight, difficult to score rounds. Just stabbing at his nose, bleeding. Andre Ward, that could affect breathing later on. In some ways, it's already been better than the first fight. Yeah, yeah. Well, these guys know each other a little better now. You know, they're both confident enough against each other, but they're both supremely skilled. It's more entertaining for the fans. Yeah, very tactical fight, but you can feel the tension in the air. That's a nice jab by Kovalev. I'll tell you what Ward's doing a better job of, uh, of late in the last couple of rounds, not letting Kovalev's jab put him totally out of position. You know, some of it, sometimes it does, like right there, but he's not out of position as, as often as he was on the Kovalev jab. See, he got touched with one there, but then he was able to work his way inside. See the position battle, got him body shots. Whipping in hooks to the body, the pair of them, trying to drain the other's energy. It's a really good one here at the Mandalay Bay. Right hand, 
Okay. Some action from that round. See Kovalev, what, on the inside, whipping that with body shots. There's, and that was the thing, and then he brought it back up to the head. He got Kovalev's attention with that body shot. Kovalev with that back with that stinging jab. That's been his bread and butter so far in the fight. Tension mounting. Andre Ward looked jaded in the corner at the end of that one. Sergei Kovalev the round before. Is it going to come down to fitness or... Will the mind start playing tricks, Paulie? It's going to come down to all of it, Adam, because these guys, it's so difficult to pull them apart as far as tell them, separate them points-wise. The red shorts no, and the up, red up. gloves of Andre Ward, who's 33 now, so he's covered for the Russian, based in Florida, but he's trained in the Big Bear Mountains for this. Ward, as always, uh, back home in Oakland. Both proud family mans and both determined to leave this ring with the world title belts around their waist. Kovalev turning southpaw here, looking for some difference. Jabs from Ward. Ward has picked up his jab, the numbers on his jab. There's a nice right hand over the top of the Kovalev jab. And by picking up the numbers on his jab, he's made Kovalev's jab a little bit less effective. What about the in-close work? Who's getting the better there? Because Ward did in the latter half of the first fight. I tell you what, it's kind of breaking even in there because nobody's getting any clean shots on the inside and both guys are trying to effectively work in there. Kovalev in the first fight seemed to rest a lot on the inside while Ward was trying to work. And I think it pulled a lot of the rounds for Ward. This time both guys trying to move their hands inside. Fans loving this one. As they dig deep already in the six. You see the ward faints. A lot of the, a lot of the faints are, are throwing off the cold left pressure. Big leverage Kovalev gets into those shots. Our colleagues at HBO have Kovalev three up. Dan Rayfield just behind us for ESPN has Kovalev one up. Lance Pugmire of the LA Times, Kovalev one up. No, no, stop, 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 no, let him up. Well, he got it even. It's 2 1, yes. I've got Kovalev just in front. But Ward's won the last couple for me. It's a tight one. A lot of body shots going in again see, now a, from Kovalev. And that's the difference of Kovalev this fight. You see him on the inside, he's trying to move those hands. Trying to, trying to touch anything he can, trying to show that he's working on the inside. Stop, stop, stop. Turn southpaw now, Andre Ward. Now Ward turns southpaw. Both guys have turned southpaw here and there in this fight. Left hand from Kovalev. It's a big deep breath there from Ward. And another right hand from Kovalev. How comfortable is Andre Ward? Very, if you look at the combination at the end of that. And there's his family and fans. That was a tough one, was a tough one to score, I'll tell you. He was frustrated and he don't have an answer. Breathe deep. Good job, Steve. You're doing some good work on the inside. Put the bag on his neck, huh? Number seven coming up. Put the bag on his neck, I got it. Breathe deep. I got it. I ain't bleeding no more. You want some hot water on your head? Huh? Yeah. Hold the bucket up. Hold the bucket up, Don. We'll get you next round. I got another bucket. First thing you get when you come back. See some of that action in that last round. See Ward trying to shoot over the top right hand. Kovalev catches him with that right hand, right hand of his own. Simultaneous jabs landing there. Both guys have tried to dictate with this jab. Second half of another tantalizingly poised fight between Andre Ward and Sergei Kovalev into the middle of the ring. Phone box stuff, intense. And Kovalev step, step, not step, step. wanting to back off this time on, those, on that inside trench warfare. See, Ward started the round with a nice right hand, though. No, 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 step, step. Here, turn around, turn around. Level on your card, Paulie. Yeah, I, I, again, I don't, I don't want to just give a guy a round if it's too close to call him. You're giving like two 10-10 rounds. <laughs> no, 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 I feel no, like stop, I don't want to punish anybody. 
because I can't tell them apart. This is where Ward began to come on strong last time out. He's more used to the 12-round distance because Kovalev has so many knockouts. But Kovalev says he won't run out of gas like he did last time. Body shot from Ward. Back oh, comes the body Kovalev. Shots. The body shot there. Stop, 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 stop. SOG, the crowd cheer from around the Mandalay Bay. As again, they target the body area, trying to soften the other up. Yeah, and also just trying to get that mental edge. He on the inside, when one is trying to rest. There's a cut on the right eye of Kovalev. Now, who knows if that was from a butt or from a, or from a punch. Just staggers there, too. Which corner will be happier at this stage? I, I think I don't think either of them can be completely happy or calm with the fighter still hanging in the balance. You know, it's, it, you have to game plan through the full, full 12 rounds. Nice jab by Kovalev. And Ward getting out of position there, but he's done a better job of not getting put out of position with that jab. A nice, another nice jab by Kovalev. Getting back into a rhythm with his jab. He must. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Kovalev no, no, no. just hung down there. Here we go. Come on. No, no, let's go. No, here we go. Says it was low. Tony Weeks says, no, let's go. Is that a sign Ward. from Kovalev? Ward said he was breaking Kovalev last time. We'll see. Kovalev's landing some nice jabs this round. Kovalev tried to say it was low, but Weeks told him, no, no, we're going to continue here. Again, you can see the eyes of Andre Ward. He's looking at that long, tall body of Kovalev. And again, just jabs into it. Back comes Kovalev, pouring with that jab, not really landing with much authority. So Kovalev got his jab working again this round, though. the HBO stats both have landed more punches at this stage than they did in November there's some of that action again a little bit of the trench warfare and there's that low blow we said it wasn't low it was actually low but of course Ward snuck it in there you, you get away with what you can Here's the eighth round. We Ward, thought it would go long again. Ward tried a big punch to start the round this time. This time, well, he missed it, but there's the exchanging on the inside. So they're both going right into the middle at the beginning of every single round. Yeah. There's Kovalev just landed a really heavy jab about a couple of seconds ago. That back Ward off. No, no. Turn around, turn around. Yeah, sure. Bit of inexperience there from Kovalev. I'll tell you what it is, Ward is a, a master of mind games. He tries to break you mentally before beating you physically. And he feels like he did that to, to Kovalev in the first fight, and he, he's trying to get him there again in this fight. Good work from Kovalev with body shots. But look at the difference in Ward this, at this point in the fight. He's not losing his positioning. He's making Kovalev stop, stop, miss, but not losing his positioning so that he can come right back and attack if he needs to. Needs to work hard, though. Yes, but that gets in the mind of Kovalev. I'm not getting him off of me. You know, it gets in the mind of Kovalev. Stop, stop. I got you. Ball has got Kovalev just in front. Harold Letterman at HBO by three to Kovalev. Johnny back in the studio has got it level. Oh, good body shots by Ward. Also good body shots. Well, that hurt, that hurt. That hurt him. That hurt, him. That hurt Kovalev. And it was deemed legitimate. Tony Weeks had no problem with it. Kovalev's complaining. I would like to see some replays. That, that, Last round, he did miss on a low stop, blow. Stop, 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 stop. On the belt line. Kovalev, here's the thing, Adam. 
Kovalev has to take matters into his own hands. At a certain point, you can't constantly look at the referee. And there's two or three occasions now that Kovalev has just stopped. And a deep breath there as he turns southpaw. And a right hand from oh, Andre him. Ward really wobbles Kovalev there. And there's a long time left in the round, and he's got to hold on here. The big Russian, and Ward has a and major look, breakthrough. Look how Ward frees his hands, Adam. Kovalev in massive trouble as Andre Ward. Look at the skill of Andre Ward, freeing his hands when he's trying to be held. Left hand here, Kovalev's got to show strength and steel because few predicted Ward by knockout, but that might become reality. Kovalev is tottering and teetering on his feet, and there's 38 seconds in the round. Some of those shots are low, though. Some of those shots are low. It's been stopped. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You thought that was low Wait a the minute. last couple. Kovalev's complaining they were low. Andre War believes he's won by knockout in a sensational round. And Kovalev is down. And the Russians are complaining, or they look as though they're about to. Is there going to be more controversy here? John David Jackson unhappy. Andre War believes he's got the knockout win. He's up on his on the ring apron. And 32-0, and Andre Ward. Few thought he would get the knockout, and he drives through Sergei Kovalev. But did you think one or two of those right at the end I'd might have been low? I'd love to see the replay, because last round we saw that the, what the, the shot Tony Weeks said was not low, was clearly low. I want to see how these were. It was, it was very clear Andre was trying to break Sergey to the body, and he was. He was breaking him to the body. Those body shots are clearly bothering Sergey, but a lot of them were low. Now, when they're low, you got to call them low. I want to see because... Sergey Kovalev was talking to Tony it, Weeks there. Because last round, there was a clear low blow that Tony Weeks told Sergey, no, no low, not low blow. Igis Klimas not happy, but is he just accepting of what happened? And... Kovalev has been stopped here. The last two, we believe, looking back on our replays, were low, but there was no question that let's War was won. on the verge of let's a stoppage the, let's win. See shots. Yes, oh, that's a low blow there. That's a low blow. Good right hand. That was a great right hand by Ward. That's the shot that actually hurt Kovalev. Look at all the weight Andre gets on that right hand. Let's see the rest of these body shots. That's it. Look at all the weight Andre gets on this shot. He put full weight on it. Great right hand. A fabulous punch from let's, Andre Ward, that right hand. Let's see the end. Let's see the whatever if these were other body shots, if these were low. Let's see. He was on the verge, you failed at stopping that one, then that one, then no, that one. Three left hands. You can't see with we can't see with weeks in the way. Hopefully there's another angle of the replay. Let's see. You can't see that one. That one's close. We can't that one you can't tell either. No, you can't tell. You need, you, need a, you need a replay from another angle. The angles of the replays are horrible. I don't understand why you're stopping the fight. I, I still don't understand why you stopped the fight though. But Andre Ward no. is full of smiles. Adam, I, I, don't, I don't, I still don't understand why you would stop the fight there. I, I, that's what I'm still. Whether even if you think those shots are legal and we can't tell whether they are or not, so let's say we err on the side that they're legal. Why are you stopping the fight? I mean, th th this is, everything's on the line here. But he has. Let's listen. The end comes at two minutes twenty-nine seconds, round number eight, as referee Tony Weeks steps in and calls a halt to the contest. The winner by TKO victory, still the undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world, Andre S. O. G. Ward. Undefeated two weight champion, Andre Ward said that he would deliver something special. He said it might be a knockout, few believed him, but he's got it. However we feel about the actual last few seconds of the finish, the right hand that started Kovalev wobbling, it was pretty spectacular.
And from then on, it looked a matter of time. It, it, it did, but it, let it happen. This is a fight with all the marbles on the line. I, I, I don't think you can just stop a fight like that and, and leave everything. Let Sergey go out on his shield. You know what I mean? He, this is a guy who's a world-class fighter. You know, you can't just stop that fight. That was that was a strange, one of the strangest stoppages I've ever seen. Because first of all, you couldn't tell if it was a foul or not. And then, on top of it, then he stops the fight. I mean, why would you stop the fight? At worst, count him or something. I don't, I just, I don't understand why he stopped the fight. And it's, it's not like Sergey was out of the fight. I had Sergey actually winning. It's been one of those evenings, hasn't it? Yeah, but it's just not fair because you cost people careers. Let them decide it. Let the fighters decide the outcome. They are world-class athletes, world-class fighters. Let them decide the outcome. These two guys are the best in the business wow. at this weight class. That was one of the more shocking conclusions to a major championship fight that I can remember seeing, Andre. How did you do it? Well, first and foremost, I want to give honor and glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's truly been the focal point of my whole career, my whole life. I've never been the most talented, I've never been the biggest, but we seem to keep knocking down Giants one, one, one by one, and I'm thankful. So how did you do it? <laughs> I, I knew that uh, today, this, this fight was gonna be different. Uh, we had a, a good camp last time, we had some physical issues. Uh, Kovalev fought a good fight, but once I compute a fighter in my brain and, and, and have him in there, I know what I need to do the next time around. Virgil Hunter, your trainer, was yelling at us ringside, that's what happens to bullies. But I thought Kovalev showed in the first fight that he was much more than just a bully. To do that to someone who's not a bully is even harder. It, what was the case here? I mean, the first time around, just as a whole, the, the man is a, is a world champion. He's defending his belts I don't know how many times. He's been on top for a long time. I don't take away from my opponents when I fight the best. I give them their credit so I can raise my game. He's a great fighter. And there's not a lot of people that are going to beat him. But Facing great fighters, you got to raise your game to the next level, and I'm thankful we did that tonight. We thought watching ringside, I thought, Andre is having his way, and yet he may be down on the cards, because even as he's pushing Kovalev back and landing shots and discouraging him, Kovalev's still moving his hands and landing those shots, and, he's, and, and he has a reputation as a big puncher and maybe winning these rounds. What was your feeling of the way the fight was going at the time you stopped him? Um, I felt like I was up. I don't know about how many, but again, you know, the fight, a championship fight really starts in the second half of six, the sixth round. I could tell he was getting a little tired, but he was still in there. He was still fighting. And then when I saw him reacting to body shots that were, you know, borderline, I knew I had him and I had to just keep going down. And then I heard him with a head shot and I just had to get the right shots in there to get it over with. And we did that. Andre, that was, you are not known as a finisher, but you, when you hurt him, you certainly know, knew how to follow up, and here is the end. Tell me what you see. I knew he was hurt. He was trying to cover up his body, so I'm trying to decide, okay, is it body, head, body, head? I gotta take something to give some. So I just wanted to have a, I, that's, what, that's what started him on his way right there, the right hand. And uh, he was dazed, and I just had to get the right shots in there. I knew I had about 30 seconds to go, and I was just trying to finish it, man, and, and get it And here's there. the end. Again, I knew it was close. I went right back to the body. I was probably borderline, but he was hurt, went right back there again. And he wasn't reacting, went right back there again. And he just, he didn't react and the referee stopped him. You just authored the kind of performance that will be taught in gyms for decades to come. When you get a guy hurt in the body. Go back down there. Go back down there. Don't, why, why get away from it? But let me ask you a question. Can I get on the pound for pound list now at the top? Is it possible? I don't think it'll be possible to keep you out of the number one pound for pound ranking because you didn't do that against just anyone. In the first fight, you overcame long odds, falling way behind to eke it out, and in the rematch, you stopped the fearsome Sergey Kovalev. I think you are the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world tonight. Is that important to you? Of course it is, uh, but it, I don't have a vote, and I keep saying that. So I gotta keep my head down and keep working, and hopefully, against a great fighter like Sergey Kovalev, we'll get our credit tonight, and hopefully, uh, we'll get a top that pound-for-pound -pound list. And one more, real quick, I just wanna thank my wife, who doesn't get a lot of attention or a lot of shine. I could not do this over the last decade without her. She's a wonderful mother, wonderful wife. Thank you, baby. I love you. Andre, you were hesitant to say it before the fight. I thought clearly this is the best professional opponent you've ever fought, the biggest fight of your life. Are you now ready to say that this is the best guy you fought as a pro? Is this the biggest win of your career? What you think? You think so? I think so. I might agree with you. He's a good fighter, man. I get nothing but respect for him. Thanks, champ. Any, before I let you go real quick, I'm gonna talk to Kovalev in a second. I know you just had the biggest win of your career. Do you have any thoughts 
about the near future? Maybe cruiserweight, I don't know. You want another belt? Maybe cruiserweight, I don't know. Cruiserweight, heavyweight, that's always been a dream of mine. Got to be against the right guy, but hey, man, I dream big, and, and anything is possible when you got God in your life. Heavyweight, but not Anthony Joshua heavyweight, right? There's a limit to everything. Anything is possible, man. Thank you, champ. Congratulations. You. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Sergey, can you tell me what happened in there? Max, like... I, I can't believe, like, I feel good, like, uh, just, uh, like, just, uh, I, 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 I don't know, like, I cannot explain this, like. Did, what, did you feel you were winning the fight at the time he stopped you? Uh, yes, not every round, but I feel that I, I, I kept going, I kept, kept good, good, good fight, like, good fight. Did you feel that it was a, the same guy you fought in the first fight, or did you feel he had improved, like you were facing a bigger challenge in this fight? You know, me was better. Both of you are better. Both of we, we together uh, was better, but I didn't, I didn't feel like a knock, uh, knock down, like any, any punches, you know, like, stop, but illegal. So, were you, you're saying you were never really hurt to the body until the final round? Uh, <laughs> yeah, only, only a low blow. Okay, here's the end. Tell us what you see. Where? Ah, here. Low blow, huh? and I felt this punch. Again, another one. What? So you what felt he? You felt? You felt? He, you looked hurt from a right hand to the head about 30 seconds before then. Did you feel his power on that punch? Uh, you know, it did, did, didn't hurt like that. Uh, I, I, I could, I could go down the floor, but like it was a low blow. It was a low blow. It was below the belt, but it looked borderline to me. Did it, did it, was it all the way low or was it a borderline low? Uh, like one, one shot on a low, uh, on a like, on the, uh, on the border. On the border and the second one on the low blow, you know. Are you saying you. I don't know why the way stop the fight like. So you're saying you could have continued? Yeah, sure, of course. And now, right now I should have continued. You don't feel like it was a proper stoppage? It didn't hurt. I, I was, I didn't feel the hurt. It looked ringside as though he'd hurt you. It looked to me as though you got hurt with the right hand up top and then he started hurting you with hooks to the body. That may be what many people feel. Do you feel that it's enough to get a, 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 another fight with Andre Ward? Max, this, this, this is fight, you know, this is fight. It's like we are boxers. We're not the girls like, yes, he punched me, but I didn't hurt, you know, he didn't hurt me. And I can, I, I, I feel continue to fight, you know, like. It's like, I don't, I don't know why stop the fight, like, it's, it's crazy. I want to get, uh, again, uh, fight with him and kick his ass. If you can't get an immediate rematch, is it your intention to fight in order to get one? In other words, is this now something that will be the focus of your career to get Andre Ward in the ring again eventually? Uh, no, I want to, like, get a rematch at once. How possible, sure. Thank you, Sergey, for an excellent fight once again. I didn't agree with the, with the stop judges, the stop uh, decision. Jim?